let's go ahead and get started. Kind of an overview of what we're going to talk about today. I want to get familiarize yourself, you guys with how the cloud works. Uh, we're going to talk about some applications because like with everything, there's 10 different options that you can use. Some are better than the others. A lot of it's just personal preference. You know, if you're a Mac user, you might be more of an iCloud person. Uh, if you're a PC, you might be more of the Dropbox, and we'll talk about that. And then we're going to talk about how to use it in work. Uh, I want to give you guys examples because I think that's the most important part. I can tell you all the cool things that will happen, but without any real-world examples, you probably just shouldn't even without, without anything. So, so to get started, uh, cloud computing is a totally different way of what we're doing now. Uh, and let's talk about how we do it now. We, we're, the way we do it now, we call it desktop computing. Uh, you guys probably remember these. <laughs> you guys remember these. So you had your class. You saved your, you saved your stuff on here. You found out that after a while I got full, so then you had to get another one. And then you have basically one for every class. And the next thing you know, you got all the classes. You got stacks as high. Well, then luckily we, get, we came out with these zip disks, which came, had more space. So then we got to put more of these all onto one, which kind of was bad because now when we lose one, we lose a lot. And then we got flash drives. We finally got to these. Now this is really bad. Now I've got everything all in one basket. So when I lose this at WellWorks and it goes away, I, I'm basically out everything. And, and that's the way we've done it for forever. That was the, that's desktop computing. We saved our stuff on our computer. Unfortunately, when we went home, it wasn't there, so we had to email it to ourselves or put it on a flash drive. We had to carry things around with us. Uh, cloud computing is the total opposite of that. We have to forget what we know about desktop computing. Cloud computing is also called web computing. It's also called internet computing. So you may hear, hear me say that. It's, it's getting totally away from this here. Uh, our data is no longer going to be on this stuff. Our data is going to be on a cloud. Uh, think of the, the internet as a cloud. Uh, wherever I go, here I can get to the cloud. I can be on my iPad. I can get to the cloud. I can be. I can get to the cloud with my laptop, or I can get to the cloud with my desktop computer. So everything is going to be connecting to that cloud. I think my next slide here. Yeah, a good way to think of it is everything is going to be in that cloud. And we have phones, we have laptops, we have servers, we have desktops, we have anything. I mean, even now, uh, like the little Nintendos will connect to the internet. So. Anything can connect to the cloud. Uh, the way things are going to be moving, right now, pretty much what's on the cloud is our data. We have databases. We have some of our content. Here in about 10 years, everything's going to be on the cloud. Uh, the programs we run, Heidi, you use uh, Photoshop and Illustrator. Pretty soon, it'll be cloud-based. You, you won't need to ask me to install it. You'll go to some website, and you'll run the program from there. And your data will be all there, too. Uh, and that's the way it's going to go. Everything is, is moving that way. And, and the good news is, is a lot of you are already doing cloud computing. You probably don't know it. Uh, our new email here at OU is cloud-based. Uh, you get onto it with your phone. You get onto it on your laptop. Uh, you get onto it on your desktop. Your folders are all still there. Your email is all still there. Uh, those of you who worked here way back, Janie, you might remember, we had, what was it? Uh, Mulberry. Mulberry, yeah. So I had to install Mulberry on all my computers. And we had one, yeah, it was even worse before that. So I had to download something on my computer. My email went to my computer at home, at my office. I got home, it wasn't there, the emails I needed. So it really was, you know, it was local. We, we couldn't get access to it. And now with cloud computing, cloud email, you know, I can be anywhere. I can be anywhere in the world. I can go to mail.ohio.edu and I can get to my email. So kind of think of it that way. You, you're already doing some cloud computing there. And we're just going to kind of take a couple more steps. Here, I, I really like this. I really like this uh, comic because you know, any of you that have worked with me and had computer problems, this is my attitude. I really don't care if your computer's on fire. If, if, <laughs> if you have everything in Dropbox, I'll just go get you a brand new computer and we'll connect you back to the cloud. And that's a good way to think of it, is your data isn't here anymore. If this, if this guy crashes, that's, that's not a problem. Uh, if your iPad breaks, if you lose your phone, it's not a problem, it's all saved somewhere on, in a cloud. Uh, in, this, in this example, we, we're using Dropbox as the cloud. But there are many options we'll talk about here. So here's the big thing, what are some advantages? Um, Kim, I, we can probably relate to this one. Operating system independence. 
it doesn't matter if you're a, a Mac, a PC, or neither. Uh, the cloud speaks all the languages. So I can be on my iPad, and I can do some stuff here. I can make sure it's on the cloud, and I can go right to my PC, and it'll be there. And actually, we'll do that here later. I'll take some pictures. I'll put it in the cloud, and I'll pull it up on the PC here. So it, it doesn't matter what operating system you're using. And I know we, we, we ran into that here recently, Ken, and it was kind of a nightmare. But you don't have to worry about that with the cloud anymore. The cloud speaks all languages. Uh, safety and security is the next big thing. Uh, as the previous picture, if, if your computer catches on fire or in Grover Center, if there's a flood, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that because everything's in the cloud. So safety and security, that's the big thing. You never have to worry about your data. I don't worry about my data anymore. It's, if my computer crashes, it's saved 50 different places. So. Security. Security, thank you for asking. My husband is so paranoid. Security. Um, what I tell everybody is, is your, your account is as secure as your password. If your password is Bobcats123, it's not that secure. Uh, if you've got a secure password, uh, and we'll, we'll, I'll, we'll try to show you here later, you can go into dropbox.com and say, these computers are allowed to get on my account. So you can say, Janie's iPhone, Janie's laptop can get on my account, and that's it. So there, there are some security features. Uh, I wouldn't worry about security as long as you have a, a, a strong password, uh, because you'll install those on your own. If somebody tries to hack in, they won't be able to do that. Uh, the next one there, mobility. Uh, that is you know, also one of the most important. I can work on my PowerPoint here on my laptop. I can take off to California tomorrow to do a big presentation, and it's all right there. I don't have to grab a, a flash drive. I don't have to email it to myself. I mean, because that's what a lot of you have done. You know, right before my class, I'm going to email this to myself. When I get to class, I'm going to pull up my email and bring it up right there. You don't have to do that anymore. It's already on your cloud. You just walk into the classroom, connect to your cloud, and, and there it is. So, Instant syncing is another great feature of the cloud. Uh, and we'll show you guys that here in a little bit. You know, I can do stuff on one. In a matter of seconds, it's showing up on the other one. So, and, and for those of you who do a lot of work at home, I mean, literally, I've left my house working on something, saved it, closed it, drove in here to work 10 minutes later, I get here, bring, it, bring that document or whatever back up and start typing on it again. Another thing, I know nursing, you guys do this a lot, shareable. We can, you guys can share folders like crazy. You guys can invite who you want, you can uninvite who you want. Uh, WellWorks, you guys might want to do it too. You can create a WellWorks folder. Everybody can throw stuff in there. I'll try to show you guys here in a little bit. Uh, with my, with my, my dad and my brother, you know, my dad's in the Philippines right now, uh, and you know, my brother travels around. We created a Dropbox folder for us, and we basically just throw stuff in there, funny pictures, uh, funny articles, whatever we got, uh, whatever I want to share to him. I don't email it to him anymore. I just say, hey, dad, uh, I, I put something in the Dropbox, check it out. And, you know, dad's had one before. He needed me to sign a, a document. He called me up and said, hey, it's in the Dropbox. Get it there, print it out, sign it. There it is. So. And backup restore. Uh, the good thing about cloud uh, computing is companies like Dropbox have 10 different places around the United States that have the data backed up. So if the, their servers in New York go down, their servers in California still have that data backed up. So your data is copied 10 times. Plus you have your data on all your devices. So there's, there's 15 different backups of your data. You'll never lose your data. And if you do erase something, you can even turn back the clock and it's, it's still there. I think, I'm not sure, Brazil, 30 days. 30 days, is that what it is? Really? Wow. So 30, after 30 days, things will get deleted, deleted. So, I mean, that's kind of. Days of no activity? Probably, that's probably what. Actually, if, if you delete something, it probably goes to like a temporary deleted folder. And then after a while, if if it's not touched, it probably just goes. Current, current information. No, 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 no. Yeah, it, you, stuff will never get deleted unless you do it yourself. Here's a list of some cloud applications. You guys might recognize a few. Dropbox is probably the one. Uh, this is the one we all suggest that everybody uses. It's, it seems to be one of the best. It's, it's really easy to use. Uh, there's an app. There's an app for that. Right? You can get the Dropbox app and put it on your phone. 
Uh, Google Drive uh, is, is kind of new, but it's also, uh, it's also Google Docs. You may have heard that before. Uh, Google Drive now is just, I think it's like seven gigabytes of storage for your documents and everything. Uh, SkyDrive is Microsoft's version, uh, which it's also nice too, because they do make an app for your iPad and iPhone. Uh, iCloud, if you're an Apple user, you, you should probably use iCloud, because it's, uh, it's made for Apple. It's real nice too, and it, it, it does all the syncing automatically. And I even think if you take pictures on your iPhone, they all go straight to your cloud. You don't even have to do anything. Yeah, it'll just go straight there. What if you have both? Like I use yeah. what I have here, here, but everything else in my life is, is, is Apple. Yeah. Uh, Deb Brewer is kind of the same way. Debbie uses both. She uses iCloud and uh, and Dropbox. Also, she uses both apps. Yeah, she uses both apps, and I do that too. What I've done is I use Dropbox and SkyDrive uh, for work. I I use Dropbox for my personal life. I use SkyDrive, so I try to separate as much as I can with that. Uh, but I it, can get Dropbox from an app. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. So if yep. I put something, okay. Yep. Yep, and you, yeah, Dropbox is uh, it's for Mac, PC, and even like the Android tablets and everything. There's, they're, they're all. But iCloud is not for PCs. It it is. Have you guys used? Has anybody used iCloud for? I've used iCloud on my PC. It it works. It, it doesn't seem like it wants to work well with PC. It has some issues. Uh, Deb try, Deb Brewer tries to use it. It has some issues syncing every now and then. It takes it a little longer than than say if she had a nice MacBook. It's, it's all synced up. What about iTunes? Because I've got my iTunes on my yeah. computer, and that's Apple. Mm -hmm. So, Matt, uh, iTunes is starting to. I don't know if you've downloaded any music here recently, but it it goes to all your devices now, automatically. It does. Yeah. So I, if I. I, just, I, I that, 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 that. So, uh, yeah, so if I, let's say I would go on my phone now and download one of the newest songs that just came out, it would automatically go to my iPad and, and even my, my laptop. So you don't have to be on the laptop, but don't you have to have that more check on there? Yeah, you can. I think, and a lot, iCloud's a lot for the, for contacts, pictures, and all that, too. Okay. But, if, you're, if you're working on a document and you save the document, should you just save it to the cloud, or should you save it to both the cloud and your device? It's, it's the same. It's the it's same. The same. We'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about that here in a little bit. It, it's it's the same. Uh, it, it's it's syncing is what it does. It's syncing. Uh, Mark. Yeah. Before you leave the uh, yeah. Okay. You recommend Dropbox. Mm -hmm. Out uh, and it has an app. Google Drive has an app. Does it need an app? You know what? I think I'm sure Google Drive has an app. I'm sure there's a phone app for it. Uh, and you don't, you like it or you don't? I do you like it. Google Drive. I like Google Drive because it also incorporates Google Docs. So if I create uh, an online document right there, it's, it's already in my Google Drive. And uh, maybe we'll, we'll show everybody here in a little bit Google Docs. Oh, okay, Google Drive. great. And why do you, is it just for the sake of organizing your own life that you can use Dropbox for work and the other one from home? Yeah, I'm coming up on maximum space on both sides too. So I needed both. So it was a good way to kind of split things up. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Do you pay for it? Nope. There is a free version, uh, but you can buy it. You can buy a lot of space. And a few a few faculty here have bought a lot of space. Uh, Jim Thomas downstairs is sharing massive amounts of data with people in California and New York and all around the United States. And they just have a big shared folder where they all just go in there and, and grab what they need. So he doesn't... So they purchase some actually. Yeah, and I think... Uh, we'll check it out here in, here in a little bit. I think it's... Uh, I think it's a hundred dollars a year, which really, I mean, it's not too bad. So to use Dropbox, there is a free account. Uh, and what you do is you install Dropbox on your computer or on your device. It's an app that you download. Uh, you can do that, if, but if you, let's say you're traveling and you stop at the hotel room and there's a computer downstairs, you can get onto that computer down there, go to dropbox.com, uh, you can log in with your account, and you can still get to your data through the web, through a web interface. So even if you have, you know, like you totally forget all your devices, you can still get to your data just by going to Dropbox.com and log in there, 
you'll see all your folders, and basically you can download it right from there. And that's what I would do, especially if you're teaching. Uh, save it to your Dropbox, you walk in the classroom, go into, you know, just walk right up there, go to dropbox.com, log in, download your stuff, pull your PowerPoint up, it's right there. And actually that's what we did. We're running this PowerPoint, we logged into Dropbox and we loaded it from there. The three of us, we all worked on a PowerPoint together. We put some ideas together and then we, it was just right there in the Dropbox and we just logged in and got it there. So I didn't have to worry about any of these flash drives or anything. So after, we'll do, after you download, install it, then you can just start putting your files and folders in there. And with, yep. Yep, you just gotta move them over. And actually, well, on a PC, uh, Dropbox creates a folder in My Documents. So after you install it, you'll go to My Documents and you'll see a folder called Dropbox. Basically, everything you throw in that folder goes to Dropbox. I mean, you could drag, and I've, I've done that. I've dragged all my pictures there. Uh, I've dragged a lot of my music there. So basically, all that stuff could travel with me now. How big is, what's, this, what's the free storage space? It's two gigabytes. Which, if you think about it, uh, most flash drives that you're carrying around are two gigabytes. Uh, you get more space by inviting people. And uh, Braju, at the end, we'll, Braju would like to show us a little bit. That he showed me something this morning. Uh, there's a, it's called the Space Race. So th they're breaking it up by colleges. Now they're trying to get all the college students on. So if OU can get all these college students signed up, but they're, we're trying to you know, feed all these other colleges to get people signed up. They'll give us all more space. I think they give us was it three, three extra gigabytes. So you could easily get five gigabytes for free, which is more than enough. But so if we get on like we are the biggest college because we've all registered or whatever. I mean, it, are all of our documents in there? Like, do I open up Google Docs and I see Mark Riley's stuff? Mm -hmm. No, unless I share it with you. Yep. It'll, Even if that we all. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, we'll show you guys. And you can put the icon on the desktop. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yep. So we can, we, can we can store our projects, share them, we can share our photo galleries with others. I'll, maybe I'll do that here in a little bit. I, I keep all my photos just kind of there, so whenever I want to show somebody, it's, I don't have to say, oh, they're on my home computer, I'm sorry. I can say, oh, I've got them right here. Uh, we can put eBooks, PDFs, uh, we can even read our, on, from our mobile devices if you have something like a Kindle Fire, Janie, I think. You should be able to connect to your Dropbox and you know, you, it's the web. Yeah, you should be able to connect there and if you have a, an ebook for a new book that you just got, you should be able to just read it right from there. So and, and you can it even, has a cloud application on it. Yeah. Because I can save my books on the cloud or I can save them on the device. And you, you might so want to look at that. You might want to share with yeah. people too. Yeah. But not if it's the iCloud on Apple. Yeah, That's yeah, that, yeah, that might be a, Yep. So share folders, share files, uh, you know, with, with all your partners, your colleagues. Uh, there is even a, a public little folder inside Dropbox. I can throw stuff in the public folder, and it gives you a link. So I can put uh, I can put a funny video there, and send everybody out, send a link out to everybody, and everybody will be able to look at that video and download it from there. And we can save save documents for an important trip. That's probably one of the biggest things that I've told people to use it for. Before you leave for your conference, throw all your throw your PowerPoints in there, throw your notes, throw your itinerary, throw your uh, confirmation number for your hotel and your flight, throw it all in there. So when you get off the plane, and I've done this before, you, before I had a smartphone, you get off the plane, you're like, oh, now I've got to, how do I get to the hotel? What hotel am I staying at? And this and that. If you just pull it up on Dropbox, you have it all right there. And. Uh, I was gonna spend a lot of time kind of on the, the frequently asked questions part, and probably for the rest of the time we can just use this as a discussion, because uh, I know everybody will have some questions. Uh, I don't know if Raju and Karen wanna jump in as well. I, we can kinda, of, I would like to show everybody just some, just some examples of how we've done it here. Uh, what, uh, what Raju, Karen, and I have done, and if you don't mind, Raju, I'll so. Hopefully you don't have any personal stuff in there. Uh, here's Bruce, here's Bruce's Dropbox. Uh, it's under work there. Okay. So he Bruce has created a, a, a folder called work. And under that folder, 
Brewer Tech GA Dropbox. And what he did is he shared this Dropbox with me and Karen. And all the work that we're doing, we throw in there. Everything's done in there. And then we, we created this folder called Cloud Computing. And uh, you know, I created, first off, I created a, a, a list of attendees document here. Uh, while that was going on, Karen was working on the PowerPoint. Uh, and while she was doing that, I was looking at the PowerPoint too and saying, hey, Karen, uh, I don't like this slide. Can we maybe add a slide here? Uh, this slide looks good. Can we get put it, put a picture here? Uh, and Bruju even jumped in and says, "Oh, I, you know, let me look at the PowerPoint." You know, Bruju added the nice themes and everything. So, all three of us are working on the same file, and, and, and we're all kind of collaborating with it, and we're we're all seeing what everybody else is doing. I can see what they're adding to the folder. Uh, you know, they added this picture. You know, I can see all that stuff. And it's all right there. And, and, and any time I needed to, to give something to Bruju or Karen, I could just throw it right in the Dropbox. And we've done this with, as you guys can see, you know, we've, we've got quite a, quite a bit of stuff started now. So basically every, every new training session that we do, we've created a folder for it in our Dropbox and we just start, we all just start adding content to it. A little question. One person is actually working on the document, the other two are you can't all work on the document. You can't do that with I, I have, you can. Especially with some, with some uh, like Google Drive, I've had, we've had four people working on a document before. And you can actually see, it'll tell you, Karen's typing here, Raju's typing here. So uh, maybe we can pull, can one of you guys maybe pull that up here? But how do you designate which ones you share and which ones you don't? Good question. We'll, uh, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll do. Good question. We'll, uh, let's, we'll, we'll, we'll do. We go to uh, we go to Dropbox.com here, and we'll uh, let me. I'll just, I'll go ahead and sign in here. Now the shared files are on the public. Public link. No. How do you how do you share? Um. Oh yeah. Well, uh, let's see. I'll show you guys here. Um. So when I log in, this is kind of what it looks like. Sorry for the sun. But this tells me that I've got folders and I've got shared folders. So let me go to the GA Dropbox folder. And there it is. And then we can come up here to some of the settings, shared folder options. And this tells me who's, who's allowed to join that folder. And what I can do is I've needed to add Larry. So let me go and add Larry. Larry's sl at ohio.edu. So you have to know their, the email address that they use. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yep, as long as you know their email address. And I've told everybody here, you just use your OU email. It makes, it makes it simple. So I invited Larry successfully. Larry's looking on his phone. Probably here in about two minutes, he'll get an invite. Two minutes later, he's, he'll start downloading everything that's in that Dropbox. And he'll have access to it. Uh, so that's one way, uh, that's one of the cool features there where you can uh, add people to the shared folder. And then and this is how I would access it. If I was if I was teaching, I'd you know get into the class, I'd log in here, and I'd come up to cloud computing, and then yeah, there's the PowerPoint that I needed. I would just click on it, download it, open it, and, and there's my PowerPoint right there. I don't have to worry about a flash drive, I didn't have to email it to myself or anything. You can also kick people out, right? Oh yeah. If you yeah. you don't want Larry in there, you can <laughs> Yep. Yep. And you know, and probably what we'll do you know, at the end of the year when Raju and Karen when they're done with their assistant ships, you know, we'll oh, we'll save the folder obviously. Yeah, I'm sure we'll save the folder. Uh, but you know, we'll we'll disband the folder, delete it, take away the Yeah, go ahead, Raju. can you know remove that if you don't want but bridges yeah I'm the owner now this one so then I can add here. Yes. So they can't kick you out because it's just the owner. Yeah, yes. yeah. The, oh yeah you can't they can't kick the owner out. <laughs> so like when you said you use Dropbox for work and then a different one for personal mm -hmm. you have two different email accounts can you use like OU email for Dropbox for work and mm -hmm. then you 
Yeah, and I, and that might be better to do too, to help kind of. That's two different drop-off accounts, though. Okay. This is the one. Like working with two, two, two accounts. Yeah, and I've done that too. I I signed up with Dropbox with my Riley M1 at Ohio, and I signed up with Dropbox with my Yahoo account. Uh -huh. So I've, I, you can have two. I mean, I'm sure you could have as many as many email addresses as you have. I'm sure you can you can do that. But it, it, after a while, I'm sure it's going to get. Thing we can talk about is best practices. Uh, even for me, this wasn't an overnight thing. So uh, please don't think that you know tomorrow you're going to be totally working on the cloud. Uh, what I did, and this was probably like two years ago, I started trying to convert gradually. Like, uh, I guess a good example, Jen, the next folder you create, you can say, I'm going to create my next folder on the cloud. And then, you know, that works out great. Maybe the next week, start adding some more folders on the cloud. And gradually, you'll find out, it took me about a year. And now I'm, it's like, like, I'm totally off these things. So, you know, I'm totally away from flash drives. I'm totally away from storage drives. And everything's cloud-based now. But it wasn't an overnight thing. It, li it literally took me a, a good year to get, get down. That's how that is. So I, I would say. Why did you point me out? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just teasing. No, I'm sure it will take me a while. No, no, no. I, and it, and it, would, and it, it, it'll, it'll definitely take everybody at least a year. Uh, and, and don't try to say, you know, tomorrow or next month I'm going to be totally on the cloud. Uh, do it gradually. Start with a folder. I guess I picked you, Jen, because I know you're really creating folders. Yeah, no, because so. I'm still using flash drives and I've got stuff at home. And, you know, I'm one yeah. of the typical people who really needs this. Yeah, and and a lot of the, you know, we use the storage drives here at the, the shared drive here at, at OU. I'm trying to get everybody off of that because, you know, when you're at home, we can't get on the shared drive. You know, if you're traveling, you can't get on the shared drive. But Dropbox works the same way, it's the same amount of space, but you can get to it at home, you can get to it while you're traveling. So, you know, it, it might be a good idea, you know, just to start moving all your shared stuff, you know, Dean, you know, Dean stuff. Okay, but now security is a big deal when you're dealing with student data. Mm -hmm. It's it's as secure as your password. Uh, there's also a back end on Dropbox.com where you can say, you know, Jen, you can say only my phone, only my laptop, and only my office computer can access Dropbox. Uh, so that's one security measure, and then you also have a password. And uh, you know, like I said, I've always told people, make a, a very secure password. I've I've run into a lot of Bobcats one two three password. I think that's probably the most popular password on campus. It's probably the one that the, uh, any hacker is going to try first, Bobcats123. So you know, try to think of something a little different. But it's as secure as your password. And you also have another measure where you can say, only my computers can get onto my Dropbox. Um, How do the IT guys feel about, like, if everybody moves all their stuff off of, like, the OU shared drive? Honestly, I think they'd be happy. Because, well, yeah, they don't have to worry about us using their system anymore. Uh, and there's nothing to say that the shared drive that we use now, there's nothing to say that tomorrow that won't crash and everybody on campus loses everything. You know, I've worked with OIT a lot. I don't, I don't really think they have, you know, they might have it backed up somewhere. They might have last week's backup somewhere. Uh, but something like Dropbox, they've got it backed up 100 times across the world. So, you know, it's, if, it does, if one of their servers crashes in Columbus, you'll just connect to another server somewhere else in Cleveland, and the data will still be there. Are you at the point where you have to pay for yours because you have so much data? No, I'm still at the point where I'm, I'm getting free. But let me see, let's maybe, oh yeah, so when you do log on, here's, the, uh, here's that space race. You just click on there. But let me see, need more space, make Dropbox a little more spacious. Okay, so free is two gigabytes. You get uh, f half a gigabyte per referral. So, Megan, you could sign up later. You could invite Cindy, and you get a little bit more space. And then Cindy could invite Heidi, and you guys could just kind of keep inviting people. Uh, the pro. Sharing. They're not sharing. They're just asking other people to join. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're referring people. So you, for a referral, uh, I, what I can do, I can send Jamie. I can send you an email. It'll send you a referral email. You'll click on it, and then it'll say, oh, Mark, you got Janie to sign up. You get half a gigabyte more space. So, and then you can go in there and start sharing. Uh, 
the pro version it starts at nine yeah I think so a hundred gigabytes is nine ninety nine a month but I think you can buy it for a hundred dollars a year which if you think about it how much are you spending on flash drives that break all the time how much are you spending on those hard drives that you carry around those are 50 bucks so for a lot of people that might be worth it I mean in a hundred gigabytes that, that'll back up my entire music collection and everything else that I've had for the past 15 years. So that's plenty of space. And then there's even the Teams one here too. And I know there's at least three faculty members here in the building that are using Teams. And what that gives you is uh, five users can share one big space. And, and you can just you can throw all your stuff into there. But as you can see, it's a little pricey. It's about 800 bucks a yeah. year. But Don't you have more than five users? You can't have like seven or eight. You could have, you, yeah, I think you can only have five main users, but I think with that you could probably still share. You could still share. Uh, they wouldn't be main users, but you could still share. I could create a folder called nursing and I could share it with all you guys. Yeah, would you be? Yeah, one thing you know, to get more space, if you share a folder, that won't count in your uh, space. For yeah. example, if I have two GB initially, then I share a folder with other faculty, then, you know, it will be a shared. So th that's where it won't affect your 2GB. That's your personal thing. So it's, if you share more folder, yeah. that will, you know, the document, the size will be shared among the team. So that helps us. And, what, and, and when you have Dropbox installed on your laptop or desktop, you'll have this little icon here at the bottom. I'm not sure if anybody can see it. I can. It's right there at the very bottom. You can right click on it and it'll tell you, uh, like Raju right now is using 70% of his 13 gigabytes on it. <laughs> All free, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so you can pause, you know, it'll tell you when it's syncing, but right, you know, right now, actually it might be syncing, but we can pause syncing. Here's some recently changed files. You know, these are the last files that we use. And actually, oh yeah, Raju presentation. Uh, last night, uh, Raju is gonna be presenting next week at a conference. And he came to our class last night and wanted to uh, just get critiqued, so we videotaped it. Uh, videotaped it, took it onto the Mac computer, and in what, maybe 15 minutes, for you, you had it sent over to your colleague in Idaho, is that right? Yes. In Idaho. Yes. So, I mean, and it, it was easy, wasn't yeah, it? Just, it was I just dragged it to my folder, so shared folder. So. Yep, and then, you know, she has access to it, and it was, it was that easy. So you can see the recently changed files. Uh, and it, you can even go in here in preferences, and it'll be on the live console for these like five gigabytes. Um, let's see, yeah. under under yeah. settings, there should be an iCloud right here. Yeah. Heidi, I don't know if you might want to look. I think it's on the recent update. So you go iCloud, and I've logged in with my Yahoo account, but here is where I can select what I want to sync. I can sync my mail, contacts, calendars, yeah. reminders. Yeah, how are you? Under, under settings. Okay, yeah. And then uh, onto my account. go to iCloud. Does it look similar to that? Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Okay. So now I can, uh, I can say what I want to sync. Let me see. Right now I'm syncing my calendar, my contacts, reminders, and Safari, which means I'm syncing my, my uh, favorites, my bookmarks. So any computer I go to, all my favorites, my favorite websites are all right there. And uh, there's some documents and data. And what I can do. Well, how do you do the, like on the photo stream, I wanted to shut yeah. that off. Okay. But then it said something about it would delete photos. Um, it may, yeah. Uh, it may. I'm not sure why. Because I think I've got too much to do with my video. So I just want to try to That might be why. Know. Is there a reason you don't do your, your mail and your notes? Yeah, because it would take up a lot of space, okay. the mail. And uh, and the reason I don't do mail is our mail is backed up here anyway. So I, I don't need to back it up any other places. And then do you do the storage and backup? I don't. Okay. But if I needed to, I would I would just click right there. Uh, and as you can see, mine's off. But I, all I need to do is just turn it on. Uh, your iPad will no longer back up when your computer automatically is. Yeah, so now it won't, it won't back up when I sync anymore. It's just going to back up all the time. But I don't want, I don't want to turn that on online. This is my time machine backups. I have time machine backups on my external hard drive. 
Mm-hmm. Well, sooner or later, those hard drives will be obsolete. I would continue to use that because that time machine is really nice. I continue to use that, but sooner or later, yeah, it, it'll all be obsolete. Yeah, I would. I would. As you see, uh, another this little thing here. The uh, I can unlink my iPad from Dropbox. You can unlink things. You can unlink your phone. You can unlink your laptops. You can always unlink it. But I mean, that's what it, it's going to link when you first sign up. It's going to link to it. So yes. You download it on the Dropbox thing. That's what it's like. So when I go to when I when I'm here on Dropbox, it's not saying that all those other computers are on my account. I have to go to the website. Yes. Yes. Computer, yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. A lot of the main administrative stuff that you're going to have to do, you'll have to go to dropbox.com. You can do a lot more like, let's see, under my account, Mark Riley here, I can, uh, yeah, here my settings. Oh, yeah, me. Thanks, Amy. <laughs> there we go. So here, un I went to the settings part under my name here at the top. So I go to settings, and now it brings me here. It's real nice, it gives us a little graph of how much space I'm using. Uh, as Bruce mentioned earlier, here's my regular files, here's my shared files, which my shared files are probably even more than that, but across all the, geez, I'm probably sharing stuff with at least 10 people. So we're sharing all that data across 10 people. So it's not really taking up all my space, and I've still got half, half of my left. Account settings, you can go into here. Email me when Dropbox maintenance scheduled. Uh, email me when you're almost out of space. Uh, there's tips and everything. Uh, here's a nice little tab for security. This is what is allowed to get on my Dropbox account. I know a lot of you asked that question. Uh, I can unlink. If I see something on here that I don't recognize, I can just unlink it. If somebody actually did hack into my account and get in there, I can say, well, that's not me. I want to just unlink it. But now these are all the these are all the, the devices I'm using. So I'm I'm syncing across eight different devices all the time. So they're all listed there as soon as you put them on mm -hmm. your account. Yep. yep. And then uh, usually when you install Dropbox, it's going to ask you to name the device you're on. And a lot of these are just as you can see, they're you know, this they're named my office machine or my desktop or iPhone or iPad. Under bonus space. You know, I've earned you know, almost six gigabytes. Uh, these are all the people I've invited. Uh, there's still people who haven't even responded to me. <laughs> That's all right. And then, okay, uh, space, go back to the main page. There should be a link here at the side for Space Race. I should probably sign up for that. So it's earn free Dropbox space for everyone at your school. And basically that's what we're trying to do. If we get everybody, if we can get enough, we can get, they probably give us, well, everybody here at OU some free space, which is awesome. So uh, I can take this and invite all 100 of my students. I'd do it. Yeah, okay. exactly. I'd do it. I'd do it. And, if, and you guys might find out, uh, together. from what we've all seen, uh, it's benefit, probably 100% students nowadays. It's probably 100% they use Dropbox. I mean, everybody, it seems like all students use Dropbox. So, I mean, they probably already have an account. Uh, they probably don't know about this.